I'm sitting in front of a, a 96 Impala that we built here at the shop. It actually belongs to one of the owners. He wanted a business car, so he still needed a four-door car, but yet he wanted something that was a little sporty. And uh, at that time, the Impala had just come out, kind of a SS or race version of the Caprice or police car. And uh, he thought that that would do for him. He bought the car originally, and his wife at that time had a Cadillac, and they ended up at a stoplight together one day, and she beat him in the Cadillac. And at that point, uh, it started to evolve into to what it is today. The first go-around he had with it, he had a 383 built with a Vortex supercharger put on it, and 12 pounds of boost, and when he brought it to us, the car made like 408 horsepower. It was nowhere near what it should have made. So we went through and redid the 383 ourselves, I put a F1 supercharger on it, had a custom manifold made uh, instead of the old LT1 style tunnel ram deal. I had a single hat manifold made for it and uh, it's the form it's in now and uh, it makes a little, uh, little over a thousand horsepower now. We use uh, mostly pro chargers here and that's what this car has on it, it's a pro charger. Um, that was uh, something else that we did to the car, it's got a six speed conversion in it, it's got a Viper main shaft upgrade, carbon, it's got carbon blockers and everything is steel inside. This is a full mandrel bent custom exhaust that, that we built here in-house. Uh, yeah, we, we updated the wheels and tires. It has uh, KMC wheels and niddle tires, NTs in the front and dry radials in the back. It's got bare brakes all the way around. It's, it's lowered two inches. It's actually transformed now more out of a show car. We use it more as a business car now than anything. That car's actually won just about every show you could win. The Herd Fest is a big Impala show that uh, it's a national show that's done every year and he actually won best in show two years in a row. It's won best interior, best engine um, at two of the herd fests that he went to. Uh, the engine is obviously what we did here. Uh, the interior was done by a Stroop interior and it's a full leather. It's got black inlays. It actually has FLP done in the seat. Um, the stereo was done. It's got uh, a LCD screen in the dash. It's got a 15 inch drop down in the roof. Uh, the car actually is, is very easy to drive. Jim drives it in the summertime all the time. He putzes around to local shows and just takes uh, his family for rides in it. It's actually very streetable. Uh, we, we get these types of cars in here all the time. People bring them to us for anything from uh, just an exhaust or a catback to building a full, you know, an engine six speed just like this car. In fact, I had a customer last year that brought a magazine article that this car was in, brought it to me and said, I want one of these. And we built them one. Built them a magazine? Yeah, magazine. <laughs> <laughs> no, built them a car pretty much exactly the same. And actually, that's one thing that Jim's not very happy about right now because it made a little more power than his does. <laughs> Whenever we have this car to show or at a racetrack, it, it never has less than 30 people standing around it. Everybody just loves the car. There's something about a big car with, with, a, with a nice engine that goes fast. People just like to see it. It's, it's always a, a crowd pleaser.